So uh, this is in regards to um, class exercise number five. I want to talk to you about it's called the the CSS box model that we're about to start with here. This is um, this is a, a, a rather important concept to understand in here with it as well. So I want to let you read through this. Um, it's pretty much like the past with it, but um, just read through this with instruction with it as well. Um, let me get started with that. Is with the CSS box model. Now, when you think of this, is these boxes are nested inside of another box with it. So, um, the outer box, which is this line right here, the the most outer square, you're looking at is the margin. The next nested box that's going to be the border, and then one next inside of that one is going to be the padding, and the content is actually whether it's an image or anything that's containing uh, a text, an image, could be a video for all that's concerned with it. So, um, But these are the layers that you will have to be dealing with and knowing your attributes and your properties as you develop this with as well. So I'd like for you to, I mean, just minimize this and I gave definitions of this in class exercise number five with as well. So why don't we get started? <clears throat> with it and I'd like for you to find create a date um, with today's date on there as well so if you come over and look at the um, on the I'm in Visual Studio Code and find the folder called new folder for me uh, icon over here make sure you click on the parent directory which is where I define IMED 1316 and you click on it I'm going to create, uh, oops, you see this now creates a subdirectory underneath that. I don't want that. So um, I need it to be right underneath aligned with uh, other stuff. So I need to collapse all that stuff I have right now and disable all that stuff. So make sure you collapse all of it or else you can put a subdirectory underneath one of these. Um, with this in mind, so I'm going to click on add a new folder. So with today's date, whatever it is today, it happens to be, um, happens to be 0226. 20. So this is, you write whatever today's date is, okay? So just heads up with that. Um, <clears throat> click on that folder, that you, that subdirectory that you just did. Right mouse click on it, and you click on new file. Call this file um, box.html and enter. And you can close out all the other ones for me so we won't be confused with what we're working with. and. A lot of, a lot of uh, less distraction what we could do with it. So in code, here's what I like for you to do: is if you could um, to start it with your um, with your intel with your skeleton with it. So um, with that, and just start and do your head tag and your title tag, and <clears throat> and I want to say I want to call this thing the CSS box model with it. Close the head tag. Start my body tag. And as we do, you know, start to code, I hope by now you should be comfortable with what we're what we're doing with it. Make sure everything's aligned to the left. Um, the only thing that's aligned to the center is I did that set of that that uh, title tag inside. So it's inside of this body, starting this body is where we're gonna start to code and some of the stuff with it as well. So um, matter of fact. Uh, just for simplicity with it, we're going to actually create um, some internal or embedded CSS with it. So between your head tag, between your head tag, I'm going to put style in here with it, and I'm going to close that tag. So this is going to be a, an embedded or internal um, CSS with it. So we're going to just do something like simple as the div tag with it. It's very popular to use the div tag, and inside of this. I want to just give some definitions here. Background, color. I'm going to hit down arrow key, hit tab. It's going to ask me what color I would like to have. I'll just do light gray. Yeah. Come to the right and enter. Do a second one called this width um, tab. And I'm going to do 300 pixel. <clears throat> and then you come down here and you do border, colon. And you're going to do 15, 15 pixel space um, solid green semicolon, 
just some basic definition and, uh, of padding of, the, of some elements that we're going to be dealing with at 50 pixel. <clears throat> and the margin will be 20 pixel. So make sure the punctuation and the, and the syntax is properly done. There's a semicolon. Everything ends with a colon. Um, a semicolon and everything in between is a, is a colon. Okay, So make sure the syntax is properly done with it as you go through here. And inside of the inside of the, the this is this whole thing, make sure it's inside nested inside of between the head tags for me. All right. So come down here. <coughs> we're gonna actually um, use some of the spaces that we're gonna let me tighten up some of the spaces that we don't really need here. So it just moves it up and give us a little bit more room to work with. Um, I want to start with the H1 tag. So you can say something along the line demonstrating the box model. CSS box model. So in here, uh, let's come down here and do a paragraph tag. With it, and this paragraph tag, if you can please do the CSS um, box model, um, is essentially a box that wraps around every HTML element. It consists of border, comma, padding, comma, margin, comma, and the actual content. Okay? So just something like this, all right? Um, I'm just copy this. I'm just going to use this text right here. That's a paragraph text with it. Copy it. I'm going to come down here and I'm, I'm going to apply the 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 div the div tag that we just did in the embedded tag in the internal CSS in the head uh, section of it. <clears throat> so I'm going to use the div tag. I close that off and everything in the middle here. So I'm going to make sure I'm just going to use this paragraph right here, the sentence where I'm going to copy it as a placeholder, just paste it um, as a placeholder with it. So I'm just going to fill this up with uh, with the same content with it and I want you to see what this looks like. Let me just come down here. <clears throat> and it looks like this right now. Alright. So um, again this has a white circle so you need to control S saves it, turns into a, an X box to it. And if you could uh, you could right mouse click, open in live view about live server and this would open it up in the server. So it looks like this right now. So I just gave it some text, <clears throat> and, and let me just move this. So when you come up here to take a look at this, these these values that we gave <clears throat> on the top here, I just want to make sure you know what what you did, and you know what you did with it. So um, background color, that's the light gray. The width of this is 300 px is pixel. This is the width of this box right here, and the border is 15 this is which is this color green right here this is 15 pixel and the padding is between where my cursor is pointing is between the padding and the text with it and of course you have the margin is 20 pixel it's coming around all the way around your 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 border with it okay so <clears throat> so this will this is what your web page should look like at this stage right now with it let me pause for a second. I don't want to go over 15 minutes, but